What is up, you buttercups? It's your man, Burial Boy, back with another Destiny 2 guide. I know I'm a little late on this one. I apologize. Work's been super crazy, keeping me super busy, having to squeeze in time wherever I can. But no worries. I promise you, I'm not going anywhere. And you can always return here for your Destiny 2 news, guides, and some funny stuff along the way. But today, we're going to go over the five locations for Entropic Shards for your Salvation's Grip Exotic Grenade Launcher. These are what you're going to need so you can start getting your aspects and fragments to really start to augment your Stasis subclass. And really quick, if you're wanting any little bit of a boost of some really awesome natural energy without all the crash, all the jitters, all the weird stuff that we're getting from energy drinks, don't forget to drop by the link down below. Get yourself 10% off of your entire purchase of some Maw Energy. I'm on the blue buzz now and I am buzzing and it's a good buzz. But enough of all that. Let's find these entropic shards. You guys can get your fragments and your aspects. Let's get digging. Now the first one I got, the first one we're going to go over is going to be right here in this lost sector in the Asterian Abyss. You're going to go all the way through, go through the lost sector, get to the end, beat the boss. You don't really have to beat the boss at the end of the lost sector, but it does make things a little bit easier and you're already that far, so you might as well. But beat the boss. And then once you've done all that, cleared all the ads, you can actually look in the middle of this room, look straight up right here to where you start seeing a ray of light shine down. You'll see the Entropic Shard floating there in the air. Pull out your Salvation's Grip, take it on out. That's one down. Now the next one we're going to go for is going to be right here in the Cadmus Ridge. It's oddly out in the open and somehow I've never seen it and I don't really know many people that have just like randomly spotted it. I can't believe I missed it as many times as I did. But it's pretty out in the open right here. Right along the side of this little rock here. Just pull out your Salvation's Grip. Let's take that one out and that's two down. Now the third one is definitely a lot easier to miss. It's going to be right here in the Eventide Ruins, right here on the map I'll show you. It's in the debris of this building, right on the corner, right where it's starting to fall apart. You can miss it very easily. I did. It's no shame in the game. It's going to happen. It's okay. But go right here to this corner. You can slip right on into the debris. You'll see this Entropic Shard land right here in the corner. Now for the fourth one, we're going to go back to the Asterion Abyss. You can go to right here where I am on the map. You're going to go to this Vex-like structure. That's kind of like how it used to look like on Io. The structures we would see kind of going up into triangles in a sense. They were coming out of the ground. You're just going to go to this side of it. This, this, I went to this side because it makes it easier. You can essentially go up whichever side you want. But go up on this side. Follow where I'm going right here in the gameplay. And you can climb up this structure and jump up it, and you'll find the fourth Entropic Shard right here on top. And for the fifth and final one, I apologize, I didn't get the gameplay of myself getting it. I could have swore I recorded it. I'm still almost 100% positive that I did, but for some reason it's not there in my capture, so I apologize. But I've got some screenshots. You can go right here on the map. It's going to be back in Eventide Ruins. It's going to be in the Lost Sector where you're freeing the Exos to fight with you against the Vex. By the way, one of the cooler things I've seen in a long time in Destiny. But you're going to go all the way through this Lost Sector. It's about uh, halfway-ish through to the part where you've got the little catwalks you can walk across. And you're freeing some of the exos on uh, the back top end of the room. Once you get through, kill all those ads, you can actually go forward into the room and turn around. And it, the last Entropic Shard will be located in the right corner, right here where I've got marked in this screenshot. And as for the rest of the quest, it's pretty simple. You can actually follow through. You don't really need much of a quote-unquote guide to get through the rest of this quest for your fragments and aspects. It's pretty straightforward. But this is the one part where you actually have to look for something. So this is going to get you that jump start on getting your aspects and fragments. And that's going to about do us for today, guys. I really appreciate you guys stopping by. If you did enjoy the video, if it helped you any bit at all, make sure you smash the like button it really helps me tremendously here on the channel if you're not subscribed already be sure to hit the subscribe button hit the bell icon so you stay notified for anything that i bring to you here on the channel and remember life's a grave just dig it <laughs>